Hello, what is up everybody? How are you all doing today in this great day? Thank you guys for 49,000 subscribers. We could hit 50,000 subscribers this month, this week, in a couple of days. We hit, got 1,000 subs in three days. You guys are killing it. If you have not hit that subscribe button, 90% of you guys aren't subscribed. I'm going to give you guys two seconds to hit that subscribe button. One, two, thank you guys for hitting that subscribe button. Leave a like on this video. It's aiming for 100 to 200. I reckon we can go over 200 likes on this video. Smash that like button. Leave a like, and if you guys need your badges overall grinded, link in the description or top comment to my Twitter or my Instagram. Go check me out and hit me up on there. My main Twitter is the best place to keep in contact with me, you guys. It'd be greatly appreciated. Now I'm going to show you a build that people have been asking for for a fair while. What is the best sharp shooting point guard build on the game? So we're going to look at the skill breakdown we're going with is the pure sharp shooting, okay? Now this build is actually a demon on the court. Now I'm going to show you the best way to make this player. I'm, I'm also going to show you what he looks like when he hits Legend. I've got this build maxed out at Legend. Wait till I show you the badge and attributes that I have for him so far. But with this build, I'm going to go with the top physicals. So we're only looking for speed and acceleration because we're just a pure sharp that can dribble. Now what you want to do is upgrade, upgrade your close shot, your driving layup, and your driving dunk. I don't think, no, not close shot, just your driving layup and your driving dunk. 63 to your driving dunk, 69 to your driving layup. Max that everything to get to 30 shooting badges. We have a 95 midi and a 95 three. 99 overall when we hit 99 overall. Like 99 three, 99 mid, we hit 99 overall. We're gonna go with 13 playmaking badges for this build. So, so far we have one, 30, 13. Now, with the defensive badge, we're aiming for nine defensive badges on this build. And have a listen to that. I am a legend on this build. I have 11 finishing, 40 shooting badges, 23 playmaking, with a hot 19 defensive badges. This build can actually do everything on the court. It can shoot. It can dribble. It can go inside. Not, not not the best abilities, but you can still go on the side. Like, I have my stretch playmaker with a side, similar um, driving dunk, and I can dunk on people. Like, that's how incredible Legend is. And obviously, 19 defensive badges, or 9 defensive badges without Legend. It, like, 30 shooting badges is a lot, man. That's what I have on every single build that I have now because of Legend. But the body shape I'm going for is defined. Now, you guys know these builds are actually crazy, man. I'm going to show you the best way to make them. Because if you guys like are going to make these builds and you need the badges or the overall grind, I'd only do Xbox at the moment. Hit me up, man. I do. I have the cheapest prices on on Twitter and on, on YouTube anywhere, to be honest. But we're going to go with the the height is six foot five because six foot five is good for defense. You can drive better. You should only lose one in your mid range, but who really needs the one in the mid range? Because I'm going to give you that one mid range back in a second. We have a 73, 75 ball handle. Okay, now 75 ball handle you can do a lot with. Remember this. The weight we're going with is minimum and the wingspan is minimum. So we have a 78 ball handling, man. 78 plus 5, we're going to have an 83 ball handling at 99 overall. That is incredible for this build, okay? You can make him shorter to 6 foot 3, but I think 6 foot 5 is the best. Now the sharp, the takeover we're using is sharp shooting takeover which I think is highly slept on in the 2K community. We made a sharp shooting facilitator. We are basically Stephen Curry on the court, but bigger and stronger than Stephen Curry. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when he hits legend on this build. Obviously I wanna show you the badges that you should rock with and stuff like that. So leave that like, man, hit that subscribe button. Bangers on the way. Now the finishing badges I'm rocking with is Slithery, Relentless, Giant, Fancy, Consistent, and Contact Finisher. Now these are the best finishing badges for point guards. You can obviously put on Acrobat as well. Now the shooting badges. I'm gonna get rid of Silver. I'm gonna put Silver Catch, Hall of Fame Clutch, Silver Hot Start. Look at the badges I have, man. These badges are insane. With 40 shooting badges, I can do a lot. Even with 30 without Legend, that is actually disgustingly good. Now for the playmaking, we have 23. I haven't got them all yet, but I got tie handles, anchor breaker, first step, handles for days, diamond shot, space creator, needle threader, bailout. The best badges that you guys actually need. Now the defensive badges. I've got interceptor, pickpocket, pick dodger, inter intimidator, rim protector, rebound chaser, clamps. It goes on and on with this build. This build is absolutely filthy, even without the legend, man. 
but I highly recommend you guys making this build. But let's go. I'm going to show you the second build in this video. Ah, that is actually filthy. I highly recommend people making that build. But I want to show you the progression first. What the stats look like when you upgrade it to fully to 93. I haven't gone to 99 yet. But as you guys can see, 75 defensive rebounds, 73 defense, 95 shooting, 69 driving laps, 63 driving dunk, 78 ball handling. Like you've got everything that you need on this build. Like it's actually filthy, man. Let's go. Let's go to show you the second build. Okay, now let's have a look at the second best point guard build on the list today after patch 12. I'll go right-handed because don't go left-handed. I made the stupid mistake of doing that. And my players don't shoot as good as a right-handed player. I don't know what it is, but the right-handed players shoot better. You know, it's pretty unorthodox with a left-handed shooter. Now, with a skill breakdown, aka the pie chart, we're looking at the defending playmaking pie chart, which is one of the best pie charts in the game. Obviously, you've got playmaking, you've got defending, you can shoot, you can finish. You can do everything with this build, man. It's absolutely filthy, but this is the best way to make the build. The physical you want to go with is not the top. So, we've got 94 speed and 95 vertical. The vertical, so you can get them contact dunks, man. So, you can get them highlight plays. The speed, so you can get past any single defender. doesn't matter who it is. The finishing, we're going max close shot, driving lap, and driving dunk to 11 finishing. We're going max everything in the shooting to get 10 shooting badges next with the playmaking you're going to go pass accuracy down to an 88 89 ball handling for 20 playmaking badges next we're going to get 20 defensive badges on this build now i'm a legend man if you want to see me use gameplay of this build as a legend leave that like man it'd be greatly appreciated i'm gonna have 21 finishing 20 shooting 20 no i'm gonna have 11 21 finishing 20 shooting 30 playmaking and 30 defensive badges like holy monstrous mammoth what the heck is that 2k allowed that at legend for this build now i want to make this build get don't get me wrong like you still got a 67 three ball now i'm gonna go six foot five now hear me out on this okay guys because when i touch the the wingspan i'm gonna touch it so i can have 86 ball handling which is what you are oh, 87 ball handling. you only need an 86 off rip to do all the pro dribble moves now with the weight, I'm going to go around 178, 179. I want to go pure minimum because I'm going to see you get a little bit extra stats. I want to put a little bit of extra weight and not lose any attributes. Now I had a look at the wingspan for a while here, man. I was having a look and I was just trying to think what wingspan is the best for this build. Now you can go max, which I think is dumb because you're not a pure slasher, right? You're a playmaking defender. Now, defenders always like max wingspan, but when you have a little bit of a think, like 80.7, you get the 86 ball control, but I'm pretty sure if I go down a little bit more, because it's all about that wingspan, man, because the wingspan at the end of the day can make or break a build. You got to remember this, same with the height, same with the weight, everything can make or break the build, so you want to have a long, hard think about it. Now, if I went minimum wingspan, I would have a good three ball, but if I go one, or maybe two above minimum, I'm still gonna have that little bit of extra wingspan, which will help me on steals, blocks, defense. If I go minimum, I have T-Rex arms. T-Rex arms is only good for the sharp shooting facilitators I showed you earlier, but I'm gonna go with the 78 wingspan, which is one above minimum. Now with the takeover, the only takeovers I would go with this build, with the build is playmaking or slashing. I wouldn't go defensive, I wouldn't go shot creating, but this is a Russell Westbrook build. I would go with the playmaking because playmaking makes the game so much more fun, man. And that's what this game is about, having fun on the park. And it's a two-way slashing playmaker. I may have to make this build to try it out on the park, upgrade him, see how I go. But now we're going to look at the badge spread that I recommend for you guys. With 11 finishing, you want contact finisher. You want your giant slay. You want your relentless finisher. You want your tier, uh, your slithery finisher, sorry. You want your fancy footwork. You want your consistent finish. You want your acrobat. Now, I think this is the best way to make the bad spread to where it's perfect. Because I think that silver fancy footwork is perfect. But you can obviously go gold. I think silver finisher bronze or silver is perfect. Giant Slayer want that at least bronze. Relentless finish is good on bronze. Acrobat's good on bronze. But you do want that contact finisher because it helps you make contested layups and contact dunks. Okay, that's what it does. Now, with the shooting badges, we're looking at Quick Draw, Range Extender, and Hot Zone Hunter. And then you can either put Hot Start or Green Machine Bronze. Because Green Machine Bronze still works perfectly. 
Because if you know how to time your jump shoot, you don't really need it anyway, man. So green machine bronze could help you out. Helps your green window increase by a little bit. Now we have the 20 playmaking badges. You want your ankle break, you want your tie handles, you want your unplockable, your quick first step, your space creator, your handles for days. That's all you really need. Now I'm looking at it. Silver handles, tie handles is good. And I think that's probably the perfect way to put this. Maybe have bailout as well, have unpluckable bronze. But I think that's a pretty good spread right there for the 20 playmaking badges when you equip them all. Now playmaking badges are pretty easy to get, but I do think that's the best spread spread you can have. Now the 20 defensive badges, you got know, you got your clamps, your intimidate, interceptor, your pick dodger, your pickpocket, your room protector, your chase that artist. You could obviously put on poker stick if you really want to. You put your rebound chaser on. Now tireless defenders are also obviously a good badge as well. It helps you not use so much like stamina on defense which stamina is a hard thing to have in this game because you run out of stamina you're like a fat kid going towards mcdonald's like you're trying to get there fast and you just lose stamina really quickly and the mcdonald's can't fill that stamina bar back up that's basically what it is the tireless defender is like having 100 big Macs and filling your stamina bar all the way max but that is today's video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully it helped you out at all but if you did please leave that like Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.